By the time I was 14, I was completely dropped out of high school and for the most part, homeless. My education came from observing what was happening around me and observing that richness that comes with struggle. I was always looking for a way to translate what I was seeing around me. And photography became my voice in this big, very confusing world. And that was, that was the beginning. I think adventure is anything that puts us outside our comfort zone. In my world, that has always been going into the mountains. In 2010, 2011, I went to Pakistan to climb in the Himalaya in winter. We did the first ascent of Gashabram II, an 8,000 meter peak in the Karakoram Himalaya. And that trip changed my life forever. On the descent, we were hit by an avalanche that nearly killed all three of us. When I realized that I had not died, I turned a camera on myself and took an image. And that image ended up being put on the cover of National Geographic. There was no way of knowing at the time that that image that was really just my way of dealing with stress was going to push my life in such a dramatic direction towards telling that larger story of, of what it means to hurt and what it means to triumph and what it means to, to be human. I've never been comfortable in the place that I'm in. I can't stop and sit. It's a constant engine that just keeps driving me towards the things that are unknown to me. It doesn't matter if I can't feel my fingers. It doesn't matter how my face stings and literally feels like it's getting sandblasted. What matters is that somebody else can feel that by looking at a picture. I've been to all seven continents. I've witnessed sunrise over the highest mountains in the world. Polar bears standing on the last piece of ice on the farthest north piece of land in the Eurasian continent and faces, I've seen faces that are just years and years of history, all wrapped into one single expression. I think intimacy is the linchpin to all great photography. The most important tool for connecting with anybody that you're photographing is being able to make somebody laugh. You're not that much older. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just give them that moment, all of a sudden you have a friend for life. And the whole world opens up. My job is to communicate a real, raw, visceral experience. And despite the seriousness of all of this, and despite the fact that we are facing massive problems as a human family, we're still experiencing each other and loving and having a ton of fun. I mean, life is fun. This started as a way for me to communicate what I was experiencing. And what it's become is a way for me to communicate what we are experiencing.